Uh, Chris Chinock here at SID 2013. I'm in the Sharp booth uh, where I've just talked with uh, Dave Hagen, who's given me kind of the, the product rundown of some of the new trends and products that, uh, that Sharp sees uh, in the market. Uh, now, Sharp's booth here is, is really uh, focused on, on commercial and industrial applications, not consumer applications and, and professional applications. Um, so th what, what they're seeing is kind of a, almost a tail wagging the dog kind of effect. Um, a lot of what's happening in the consumer space, uh, the trends in, in smartphones and tablets and TVs, is really uh, driving uh, expectations uh, from commercial and industrial partners to, to bring in higher resolution products, to bring in uh, higher brightness products, to bring in wide asp aspect ratio products, uh, to bring in products with uh, 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 capacitive uh, projection, uh, touch screen capability. So all these consumer technologies are really pushing uh, into the cons uh, commercial and industrial market. Uh, and so, you know, these guys have to respond to that. Uh, so as a result, uh, what they're seeing is um, uh, kind of, uh, they're changing their product mix and adding new products to react to this because this is what the customers are demanding. Uh, so for example, uh, they offer a, a very wide range of what they call uh, IA or industrial application products, which range uh, a, a whole bunch of, uh, of LCD products in all different sizes and, and uh, resolutions and lumen levels. Uh, but they've now um, augmented that, that basic range with what they call a value uh, product range. Um, it's basically um, a little bit lower level performance, but at a, a lower price point to satisfy a number of customers who don't necessarily need the, uh, the very long lifetime, the, the high reliability, the ruggedness uh, that you might need in a very long life commercial, uh, medical, or industrial application. So um, there's a whole set of customers that can be potentially addressed uh, with this value range product, which they obviously want to do. Uh, the other thing that's kind of important uh, that they've done recently is they have um, have historically worked a lot with third-party um, uh, integrators to add uh, high brightness, for example, or especially uh, 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 touchscreen capability to these displays. Now they're working to develop some of that capability in-house uh, so that they can add the sharp warranty and service capabilities uh, to a, a sharp SKU. Uh, now, this doesn't necessarily take the third-party integrators out of, out of the picture, um, but it can help, uh, help the third-party integrators and the resellers and dealers bring a sharp product to their customers with a sharp warranty. So they see that as a, as a nice enhancement. Um, they're also starting to uh, add more high-resolution products to the, to the mix. Uh, they're adding more uh, wide aspect ratio products to the mix right now. Um, and they've also got a program that adds uh, commodity products to qualified uh, customers and integrators so they can start to bring some, uh, some products from the, some, from the CE space that are high volume, lower cost, um, and, but maybe not, the, again, the high reliability that you might use in some commercial applications, uh, but you can start to kind of mix uh, some of that capability with lower pricing for specific applications uh, where, where the need exists. So I think that's, uh, uh, that's most of the stuff that, uh, that they're introducing at the show this year. Uh, so that's, uh, that's it for now. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.